Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this KOF All-Star tutorial video we are going to talk about how to do well in time attack challenge. Well, time attack challenge is one of the most important missions that you can play every day for free and that will give you the most amount of rubies every day depending on your score. So I have discussed uh, about seven topics in this video so make sure you watch this video till this end and make sure please if you like this video make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel so I get the inspiration to make more videos like this so guys let's just jump onto our topic to play this time attack challenge you need to go to the challenge dungeon and here is the time attack challenge and basically this comes in three format that is novice master and veteran as is the first part of the week we are having this novice and it has a remaining time of one day that means i can uh, you can play this novice for one more day then there will come the master mission you'll play it for two days and then will come the veteran so it doesn't matter which mission you play you have certain rules to maintain and you have certain rewards to get and here are the rules sections which you can check the rules and for this time uh, the rule is to form a team with a randomly uh, selected 24 fighters that means net marble will select random 24 fighters and you will have to select your team from them and if you can check you can find this team and you can basically select any one of these guys but make sure you always select the top tier fighters that is fast fighters never select the golden or any other fighters this is one of the topics so let's uh, get to the points which i'm going to discuss about how to do well in a time attack challenge and i know most of you guys uh, have talked about the ss rank and s rank and all those high ranks but to be honest guys getting ss rank is not easy unless you get your characters fully maxed up you have a ton of uh, great card sets fast card sets along with good option cards and all those stuff and that requires some time my friend because you need to collect those items but as a new player or a mid-range player i think you should aim for s tire and if not possible uh, you can hover between s tire and a tire if you can get a tire you are getting 70 rubies every day plus 100 APs if you achieve a rank and for each missions there there are certain time restrictions for each ranks but if you get the S rank you will get 100 rubies plus one of these uh, hexagon rainbow core which is not bad so for S rank you will get 30 more rubies than A rank. S ranks uh, might sound uh, a bit hard but it is possible my friends let me tell you it is possible if you follow these techniques. So the first techniques let me tell you is to select uh, your main fighters from this uh, range that you have. You need to check out these fighters comfortably uh, and carefully and determine that which fighters are good for mobbing and which fighters are good for bossing because there will be mobs a lot of mobs out there in the time attack challenge and there will be bosses so you need to have both fighters both type of fighters to tackle for example you can see in my team I have I have selected Grizzly 
as leader i have selected roti 97 and i have the geese howard 14. so basically i selected this team is i kept uh, chrysalid for bossing and geese uh, is good for you know mobbing and roti is good for both actually so and also uh, i have checked uh, kept uh, chrysalid for leadership which i'm going to talk about so make sure you select your fighters wisely and also another thing that i let me just mention you that you can see there is a bunch of fighters but not all of them are fast only these fighters these six fighters are fast fighters but the remaining fighters are gold tire fighters so never ever select those fighters always check out this purple border around those fighters so let's just go to our second point that is to use the leadership carefully now you need to use the leadership in a way that it uh, supports your main fighters for example if you are using a leader like this chrysalid he has a leadership of increasing boss fighters attack by 60 percent and decreased hp by five percent so it is basically increasing the attack of any boss fighters by 60 percent and my other two fighters keys and oro 97 both are boss fighters so they all of them are getting benefited from this leadership and including Chrysalid himself he will also get benefited by his leadership so I am getting a leader which is helping all of them so make sure you select your leaders wisely you can select uh, leaders from any one of these people and you can just click on the, them and make them leader and you can see the leader's description what uh, whatever uh, opportunities the leader is offering in this area so make sure you get the most benefit out of it and for the next option we go to the strikers now strikers plays a good role in this game and make sure you try to use linked strikers as much as possible because linked strikers will always give you the extra buff to your character to your main character for example for chrysalid i am using geese the mortal geese as the available striker and he has a link effect and i this the link if effect is this increases attack by 50 percent is hp is 70 percent or more increase attacks spd by five percent which is very cool indeed so it is going to further bump up my buff up my character even more so uh, i'm not going to deal uh, de going into detail with the other strikers just try to make them uh, as much as possible uh, as linked but in case the if the links are not possible then of course you have to use any uh, striker without any linked benefit but of course you are going to getting certain benefits that i am using meliodas for uh, the striker uh, for geese and i'm getting this increased activity members attack by 10 percent for 10 second so make sure you get the most benefit out of it by selecting and studying those things and guys let me tell you before starting these uh, attack missions uh, time attack challenges take your time in selecting these characters read their abilities uh, read their strikers uh, read the link effects and everything take your time it will really pay you off and it will really help you to get to this a rank which is 70 rubies every day plus 100 ap awesome now let's go to our next uh, point which is using a good and attack type increasing uh, attack increasing cards now 
if you have these characters if you have these characters available uh, in this pool then of course make sure you equip those cards uh, with, with those characters with cards and by cards i mean uh, cards which will increase attack to those characters and uh, the reason uh, for example uh, disregard this card set if i want to chrysalid uh, i want to use chrysalid i will definitely use this serena set on him because this will increase his attack and uh, as this game is all about tagging in so it will give him armors as well so make sure you use the best card sets and attack type card sets as well and also there are some cards which are defense type card sets but still increases attack for defense type fighters fighters like the kaya set so you can use that as well it it, it really depends on which character you are using but basically uh, Serena set is an awesome set for all character types. It really makes the difference because it increases the attack and you know less time is required to kill those enemies. So uh, for the next uh, point uh, we go to the uh, a brief, briefly I will discuss about uh, the card set for strikers because when you equip card sets in strikers or good cards uh, this will increase their cp and eventually it will contribute whenever uh, the striker is used in the battle the next tip is uh, of course uh, you play manually and not auto mode not in auto mode because manually playing will give you a lot of control in using your sps or special powers uh, in particular places where uh, the mob is uh, a big in number or the boss is ahead in those times otherwise the auto mode will just uh, use the special options uh, special abilities maybe in just on just one character so try to play in manual mode our next uh, uh, point is about tagging the characters in the battle uh, when you uh, when you are in the battle make sure you tag in your characters wisely so you can get the most out of it especially uh, when you are playing in a uh, in a mobs make sure you use these characters which are good for mobbing and play with them and get the best out of it because this is easy this is kind of uh, easy to deal with and whenever we will have bosses then definitely go for the characters which you are better with bosses because this will give you a certain benefit So let's just tap out and uh, I was just uh, showing these things to you so that uh, you know how to tag you already know it but just it's just important to just uh, tag the right player at the right time the good mobbers when the mobbing is going on and tag the uh, most powerful fighters when the boss is there and my final input will be to make your life easier uh, you can just go ahead and check what are uh, what the top players are using in the team because these available teams whatever you have everyone is using the same team from the same team so you can easily pick uh, the best combination from them for this you need to click on this top ranks option and here are the top teams who got the best scores and if you click on them you can see their team members you can see the strikers and everything and of course uh, 
these are maybe high ranked players and they have tons of cps uh, in their characters and great card set but just to give you an idea that this combination will definitely do great because this has an amazing leadership uh, a great bosser and a great mobbers as well so this is a great uh, combination so make sure you check out these uh, toppers so you just basically know what to do so uh, i think that's basically enough about how to do well in time attack challenge in king of fighters all-star i hope you like this video and i will really be happy if you just give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel so uh, i get the encouragement i get the good vibes to create more videos like this take care and stay safe guys see you soon in some another video peace